Melachim Shenai, 2 Kings 11. And when Athelyahu, the mother of Ahaz Yahu, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed Eth all the seed royal. But Yahushiva, the daughter of King Yoram, sister of Ahaz Yahu, took Eth Yoash, the son of Ahaz Yahu, and stole him from among the king's sons which were slain, and they hid him, even him and Eth his nurse, in the bedchamber from Athel Yahu, so that he was not slain. And he was with her hid in the house of Yahu, rather of Yahuah, six years. And Athel Yahu did reign over the land. And the seventh year, Yahu Yada sent and fetched the rulers over hundreds, with Eth the captains and the guard, and brought them to him into the house of Yahuah, and cut a covenant with them, and took an oath of them in the house of Yahuah, and showed them Eth the king's son. And he commanded them, saying, This is the thing that ye shall do, a third part of you that enter in on the Shabbat, shall even be garters of the watch of the king's house. And a third part shall be at the gate of Kur, and a third part at the gate behind the guard. So shall ye guard at the watch of the house, that it be not broken down. And two parts of all the you that go forth on the Shabbat, even they shall guard the watch of the house of Yahuwah, about the king. And ye shall compass the king round about, every man with his weapons in his hand, and he that comes within the ranges, let him be slain. And be ye at with the king as he goes out and as he comes in. And the captains over the hundreds did according to all things that Yahuyada the priest commanded. And they took eth every man his men that were come to that were rather that were to come in on the Shabbat with them that should go out on the Shabbat, and came to Yahu Yada the priest, and to the captains over hundreds did the priest give eth King David's spears and eth shields that were in the temple of Yahuah. And the guard stood, every man with his weapons in his hand, and, rather, round about the king, from the right corner of the temple to the left corner of the temple, along by the altar and the temple. And he brought forth Eth the king's son, and put Eth the crown upon him, and gave him Eth the testimony, and they made him king and anointed him. And they clapped their hands and said, Elohim, save the king. And when Athel Yahu heard eth the noise of the guard and of the people, she came to the people into the temple of Yahuwah. And when she looked, behold, the king stood by a pillar, as the manner was, and the princes and the trumpeters by the king and all the people of the land rejoiced and blew with trumpets. And Athel Yahu rent at her clothes, and cried, Treason! Treason! But Yahu Yada, the priest, commanded at the captains of the hundreds, the officers of the host, and said unto them, Have her forth without the ranges, and him that follows her, kill with the sword. For the priest had said, let her not be slain in the house of Yahuwah. And they laid hands on her, and she went by the way, by the which the horses came into the king's house, and there was she slain. And Yahuyada cut eth a covenant between Yahuwah and the king and the people, that they should be Yahuwah's people, between the king also and the people. And all the people of the land went into the house of Baal and broke it down, at his altars and at his images, 
broke they in pieces thoroughly, and slew Ethmatan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. And the priest appointed officers over the house of Yahuwah, and he took at the rulers over hundreds, and at the captains, and the guard, and at all the people of the land, and they brought down at the king from the house of Yahuwah, and came by the way of the gate of the guard to the king's house, and he sat on the throne of the kings. And all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was in quiet, and they slew Eth Athaliahu with the sword beside the king's house. Seven years old was Yahuwah. Rather, seven years old was Yahuwah Ash when he began to reign.